In this lesson, we will learn how to create small animations to insert in web pages. We can create animations using softwares like Photoshop or Flash. In this lesson, we will learn creating a small animation using Photoshop. For example, here in our web page banner, we have a still image as a logo. Instead of this, we can put an animated logo in this place. To do so, we need to create a GIF animation of this size. Let us see how to create such animation in Photoshop. First, let us go to Adobe Photoshop and create a new document. To create a new document, go to File menu and click on New. Now specify the width and the height of the document. Click on OK. So now we created a document. To create an animation, we need to draw all the shapes needed for animation. For example, in my animation, a color to be filled first, then I want to visible the shape layer and then the text. So first, let us draw all the objects needed for the animation. Let us draw a rectangle, choose the color, now draw a rectangle. Let us take one rounded rectangle tool, set the color to dark, brown, now draw a rounded rectangle. Now, I am going to put some text. Take the type tool and type the letters. Set the color of the letters to white. This way, we could create a design similar to our logo. Now, let us see how to make this into an animation. Go to Windows menu and choose Animation Palette. Now we open the Animation Palette. Here we have Control Buttons and this is the icon to create a new frame for animation. By default, one frame is created here with all the layers in our file. Now let us hide these layers and keep the white background. So let the first frame be the white background. Now click on create a new frame. Now go to the layers palette and make the first layer visible. So it appears this way. The first frame is a blank one. The second one is with filled color. Now take one more frame and keep the rounded rectangle visible. Again take a new frame and keep the text visible. We created the four main frames needed for animation. Now let us play and see. Our animation is just blinking. To make this animation smooth, we can make use of twinning. Now let us see how to add twinning. Choose the first frame and click on tween button in the animation palette. Now under frames to add type 10, click on OK. So 10 frames are added between first and second frame. Here we can observe the gradual increase of color in the frames. Again, choose the second frame. and go to add tween. So this way we could add tweening. Again, add tween to our third main layer. 
so it has come like this. Now let us play and see. In this way we could make our animation. Now let us see how to save this animation. To save this animation in GIF format, go to File, click on Save for Web Devices. Here a wizard opens, click on Save and go to the Custom Paint Booth folder where all our website files are stored and type logo animation. So already there is a file save. So we have saved. Now let us go back to Adobe Dreamweaver. Now remove this image file for now. And click on image icon in the common panel to insert the animation. So now our animation still it is considered as an image as it is in GI format. So click on image and choose logo animation and click on OK. So now here the animation is inserted. We could not see the animation here to see that we should preview this space in Explorer. Now go to Internet Explorer. Now we will be able to see the logo animation. In this way, we can create a small animation in Photoshop and can be inserted into the web pages. In the next lesson, we'll see how to create animations in softwares like Flash.